Hey everyone, it's Joanne here, and today I am bringing you another review commentary video on The Walking Dead, Season 6, Episode 13, titled The Same, I feel like I'm crossing my eyes, entitled The Same Boat. If you're a Walking Dead fan, stay tuned, can't wait to talk about it with you. So yeah, what did you think about the episode last night? I mean, I started watching it at first and you know, I thought it was kind of, I think it was a little bit slower paced, but I really love it when they kind of show you the other side of what was happening at the end of the episode last last week when you actually get to see who's on the other side of the walkie talkie. I really like how they did that and showing the faces and the number of people that were actually there to that that were there and kidnapped Carol and Maggie. This was totally a girl power episode. I believe they titled it the same boat because of the similarities between Paula and Carol and how there was just so many similarities between those two characters as far as where they came from, what they've been through, and really where it has brought them at this point in time in this zombie apocalypse. So I thought it was extremely interesting, the dynamics that they had here. And let me tell you, Melissa McBride, she needs to get a Emmy, a day or a nighttime Emmy, whatever they call it. She deserves an Academy Award, even though it's not a movie, for her performance from Carol. And the whole time when I was watching this episode, I go, okay, and it's great because we were on, I love these kind of episodes because you know these characters, but the people who kidnapped them don't know them. So it's like, you're already thinking to yourself, Carol's going to play possum. Carol's going to play the meek and mannered. Carol's going to kick some ass, right? And so the whole time it's like, you know, it. it's kind of like you have one up on the bad guys, right? And so it was, I just thought it was so funny that I'm like, oh, I know exactly what Carol's going to do. And yeah, she's hyperventilating, but you know what? <laughs> she was just kidding it. She was just kidding. She was just lining herself up psychologically, giving them the information that Maggie's pregnant, showing that she's vulnerable, showing that she's meek and mild and that she she's afraid. She literally was just amazing. I just can't, I just can't say, I, you know, I have to actually say that from last episode and this episode, Carol is becoming, Carol I think is my favorite character now. She is like my hero. <laughs> but, and I hate to say that because then I have a feeling that she's going to be the one that's going to die from Negan. So I hope not. So this was a really great episode. I absolutely loved it. I loved the girl power. I loved the fight scenes that went on. I loved the manipulation that was going on. And But what I was the most surprised about was that when it came towards the end of the episode, when all the fight scenes kicked in and everything like that, that it was actually Prego Maggie that did the serious ass kicking. I mean, she really stepped it up being pregnant. And I don't know if it was the mama hormones, but let me tell you, when that one lady almost sliced her stomach, she just went balls to the walls. And then of course we have uh, Carol with her inner struggle with not wanting to kill them and kind of hesitating, but then she did pull the trigger and she did end up making some kills and then she did kill Paula. So, you know, it was a great episode. It was a world one, but I can, you know, again, this is the second week in a row. I am serious. Like if I was on like a heart monitor, I think my heart stopped <laughs> that last scene when Carol, when they were fighting in that closed quarters, I was like, and then when Paula got impaled, I was, oh, I was so relieved. And then you see the guys come rushing in and yeah, we took care of everything, you know, but the, 
best, I think the best part of the whole episode. I've always secretly hoped that Carol and Daryl would get together. So at the end of this episode, when Daryl is like, are you all right? And she says no. And then they embrace. I was like, oh, Carol and Daryl, maybe. Fingers crossed. It could be just him comforting him, him being Daryl the way Daryl is. So yeah. So what did you think about the episode? I just, I really enjoyed it. I know a lot of people thought it was kind of a different, definitely a step down from last week. Maybe not as exciting as last Last week, but I really liked the dynamic. I really liked the fact that it was a girl power episode. And let me tell you something. Those two women killed all those people, plus the two people, plus the few people that came to, to rescue them and cleared out walkers all by themselves. And the guys, they had their whole crew that had to go in there and do that stuff. So they did the girls, I think, did just as much damage to the saviors as the guys. And yeah, so what did you think? I want to know in the comments below. Let me know. Did you like this episode? Did you not like this episode? What was your favorite part? I really liked what they talked when Paula told the story about the, the water, what happens. The three, I think it was, I'm just going to try to remember how it went. It was like when when carrots go in water, they turn soft. When, when a delicate egg goes into water, it turns hard. And when a coffee bean goes into water, it turns it changes the water to coffee. So I thought that was really cool and really kind of, you know, you kind of look at all the characters and say, which one are they? Are they the egg? Are they the coffee? Are they the carrot? So, but they, they're pretty much getting brutal and it's really starting to be the fine lines when, you know, you hear the other characters saying, we're not the bad guys. They keep on saying that. And then, Okay, so here's the other thing. What did you think about when they all said, oh, they said, we're all Negan, right? So th this was brought up a little bit in the comic book is that they kind of played, they, they played that a little bit in the comic book where they all say, I'm Negan or I'm Negan or Negan's everywhere because they're really trying to protect who the identity is of Negan. So I thought that was kind of interesting. And now next week's episode is probably going to be a little bit of a drop down any even more because Rick thinks he killed Negan, right? <laughs> Silly him, the, that primo guy said, yeah, I'm Negan, boom, he's dead. So, you know, Rick thinks it's done and, you know, one and done. It's gonna be interesting to see what's gonna happen up at Hilltop because I know what happens in the comic book. I know who ends up taking over in the comic books and I know we only have a few episodes left. So it's, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna be happening. I don't know what's gonna happen, but how did you like how did you like Malls with her smoking and probably has lung cancer? And that was just, yeah, it was just, it was a, all in all. I enjoyed it. I enjoy every episode of, of Walking Dead. So let me know what you guys thought of it. I'd be curious to know. Let me know. In the, let me know in the comments below. That's it for me today, guys. I got to take off right now. I got a ton of stuff to do tonight. But you guys be awesome. Enjoy the rest of your day. And guess what? I'll chat with you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.